using the magnitude of a vector. For example, to find an unknown. You will find this on page 578 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Example 18. If A, this is the vector, B, this is the vector, and A equals B, that means the two vectors will be equal. Find the values of X and Y. Now, if the two vectors are equal, then this will be equal to this. The top equals the top, or the horizontal equals the horizontal, and the vertical equals the vertical. So basically, if you look at this, you are forming two simultaneous equations. Now you can solve them by substitution, elimination, and even by making use of matrices. Okay, but let's do it um, by substituting. So substitute it two in one. Okay, so basically we're going to take this one, let me just indicate it here, and you're just going to put it in the place of x. So basically I'm just going to do this, then I'm just going to simplify y plus y is 2y, and then 3 minus 1, and I divide by 2, and then I substitute this value of y into either 1 or 2. Now I decide it into 2, so basically I'm just going to put it there, and I'm just going to substitute 1, and I add it up, and I get 2. So the value of x will be 2, as I see there, there's the value of x, and the value of y will be 1. Okay, the next one. Given that r is, uh, is this is the vector, s, this is the vector, where p is positive, this is important. Find the values of p such that, now I'm saying that the magnitudes will be equal. So that means that I will now first find the magnitude of r, then find the magnitude of s, and then see what I get. So by finding the magnitude, don't forget, let me just write it here, uh, it's going to be 12 and 5. So this is going to be 12 squared plus 5 squared, and the the value in S, it's going to be P and 0. So P squared plus 0 squared, just finding the magnitude. Now remember, if you have a square root there and a square root there, you're basically going to square both sides. Let me just show you there. And then by squaring a square root, it's actually just disappearing. Okay, it just become 1. So a bracket to the power of 1. So now I'm just going to solve this, simplify this, and then take the square root of 169, and the square root of 169 will be plus minus 13. But remember where P is positive. So therefore the positive is only 13. Okay, stop the video and do try now 18, number 1 and 2. You can continue with the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. I'm just going to move it up just a little bit. You can just do one first. Okay, so in the first one, this is number 18 and this is number 1. If m is this and n is this, and m equals n, the two vectors that are equal, find the values of p and q. Now, don't forget, let's just rewrite it first. What was m? It was 5p. What was n? It was p minus 2q and negative 3. Okay, so basically what am I going to do now? I'm just going to say, um, because these are equal, so we said n is equal to n, I'm just going to say phi is equal to p minus 2q, and the um, vertical values, p is equal to negative 3. P is equal to negative 3. So now I'm just going to substitute. In the place I'm going to put negative 3. So 5 is equal to negative 3 minus 2Q. So 2Q is going to be negative 3. 
okay I, I just bring this one over so that's why it becomes a positive to cancel out there and then I bring this one also over so 2q is going to be negative 8 okay then I divide by 2 and I divide by 2 and the value of q is negative 4 so therefore the value of p is negative 3 and the value of q is negative 4 okay then number 2 let's just move up and let's just do number 2 now I'm telling you again the vectors I first ask you to find the magnitude of AB okay I think in this case to make it easier I'm first going to clean this one otherwise my space it's not big enough. Okay, so let's start with number two. And I'm going to do A. But first I'm going to write down the vectors. So A, B is negative five and zero. And CD is T and negative 3. And then if I find AB, the magnitude of AB, it's just going to be, so it's going to be negative 5 square plus 0 square. And that is going to be 25. And if I'm going to work it out, it's just going to be 5. That's the magnitude. And then number B. Two possible values of T if two possible. A, B equals C, D. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to find the magnitude of C, D. And that will just be T squared plus negative 3 square so that is going to be t square plus negative 3 oh, we can simplify that by saying 9 okay now in this case let's just see this now because I'm going to equate this two or put it equal to each other so I think the best is if I'm, if I'm saying okay the statement AB the magnitude of AB is equal to the magnitude of CD now I think because I'm writing it like this and this one is having a square root the best will be to first to take that value. So take the 25 because this one is having a square root. Because then, I, and I'm just going to show you, so if you square that and you square that, then you are going to end up with 25 equals t squared plus 9. Okay, now I'm just going to take a everything to one side so if this is zero so this is going to be t squared plus 9 minus 25 so it's, it's going to end up so if I take it actually again over let's just move this then it's actually going to be t squared is 16 and if I take the square root, don't forget, as soon as I take the square root, I must write plus minus the square root. And then the value of t is going to be plus minus 4. So if I move this a little bit up, so I'm going to say therefore the value of t can be positive 4. You don't have to write the positive, so let me rather leave it out. It's going to be 4 or the value of t is going to be negative 4 and that's the final answer.